Happy October. I am so excited that it is finally autumn. We're getting close to Christmas and I can make some really cozy recipes for you guys. This video was kind of put off. Um, I was meant to do this a lot earlier, but life got in the way, but we're finally here with a autumnal or fall recipe video. I have five recipes for you. As always, they are all linked in the description on my website. So make sure that you go check them out. Also check out my ebook. I have loads of really cozy warming recipes in there, like my gardener's pie, my kale and bean stew and lots of soup so I will also leave that linked below. So that's it, let's get into the recipes. your food and season accordingly you could add more chili if you want it more spicy or whatever else but i think that's good Why did you eat that like a child? <laughs> oh, that's really good. You can smell it. You can smell the cinnamon and the nutmeg. Mm. You can taste it, it's quite, hmm. It's a good, strong taste, considering there's not much in there. Mm. It's very nice, it's very autumnal. loads of times so I don't know why I'm trying on camera but I just a huge spoon <laughs> mm. 
Mm. It's like my favourite quick curry. It's so delicious. Mm. So, if you want it to be even quicker and you don't like curries to be this soup-like, I love them like this because when we went to Thailand, we realised how much curries are just soup. They are so soupy and so liquidy and I love that texture, but if you prefer a thicker curry, just completely omit the vegetable stock and just put a bit of soy sauce in there. In fact, I would probably put soy sauce on top of this anyway with, on the rice because it would make it taste really good. Um, but that would just mean it won't be as um, runny and it will also cook faster because I like to wait for this to reduce a little bit. Um, but sometimes if I'm in a massive rush and I want a curry to be made, in 15 minutes, 20 minutes, then I'll just leave the vegetable stock out and just stick with the coconut milk and both ways work really well. So depending on your preference, but I like it this way best, I think, because it's all runny and it soaks into the rice and yum. Now this is much more appealing. had these really cute squashes or little mini pumpkins look so there's loads of these really cute pumpkin things that we thought we just had to pick up and um, I thought I could put them in a stew because I was gonna do like courgette but I thought this would just be a bit more fun so I'm gonna maybe struggle a little bit to peel it but yeah it's very pretty though So these are very tough to peel. I'm doing it with a knife because our peeler is not sharp enough. So if you want to switch it out for courgette or even butternut squash, something that's a bit easier, you can. But I feel like it's a bit fun, isn't it, at this time of year to use these when they have them in the supermarket. how you professionally measure vegetables. <laughs> Wait, last one. Yes. There's not mushroom left on your chopping board. <laughs> way to do it by the way it's just how I do it I just think it saves time oh no she didn't Terrible. <laughs> time is such a time waster sorry who's, who's got time for time
Holy Christ identity Green mango peach, what a tease Calling me like the rainbow Oh pretty please take it easy No one likes push and shove Let go of control just tastes like autumn and Christmas in a bowl like that's the only way I can describe it I'm gonna make this every day now it takes a little bit longer than usual because I usually I have a recipe which I did ages ago one of the first recipes I did I think for my website and it was with a kind of berry compote which I do most days so it's, it's just where I put berries in the pan and heat it up and then pour on top so I figured for an autumnal one, it'd be kind of nice to do it with apples and pears, seeing as they're in season. And it just makes it so delicious. Mmm. Saw his head off. This is like um, Merlin's sword. Is it Merlin's sword? Arthur's sword? Arthur. Arthur? Yeah. No, who is it? Charles? I thought it was Arthur. Okay. Sword in the Stone. Sword in the Stone, yeah. I mean, Merlin might have been involved. Ugh. Yeah, Merlin was the wizard. recipes as I mentioned before they're all linked below in the description for you to follow easily on my website and also definitely share your photos with me if you do make any of these recipes on my Instagram tag me use the hashtag versatile vegan and let me know that you have recreated some of my recipes because I love seeing that and we filmed a mukbang featuring that last recipe the pasta bake so go check that out over on our vlog channel and I will see you in the next video bye Taste test. Cheers. Mmm. Mm.